What's up, guys? Uh, how'd you get a dryad? Well, once again, you got to build a house, and then you got to go and kill a boss. We literally just killed um, Eye of Cthulhu. It's a huge floating eye thing. Uh, you s I can't remember how you summon it. Uh, we accidentally summoned it once, and it kept coming back uh, every like five nights. But yeah, as soon as we killed it, about five minutes later, this this dryad appeared wherever she's gone. There she is, and she sells some pretty cool stuff. Hold on. She sells purification powder, which is amazing because it gets rid of the corruption, so we can finally get past those stupid areas. Uh, sells acorns, grass seeds, which are pretty handy. A sunflower, stop corruption from spreading, and a dirt rod. Um, if I remember correctly, you can use that to move a piece of dirt further than you can normally move it, or place it somewhere else. Or I can't remember actually. I think you can move a solid block. When I get 20 gold, I'll have a look, see how it works. But until then, I'm just gonna have to guess or look it up on the wiki, which I can't be bothered to. So yeah, that's the dryad. You gotta defeat a boss. Um, it seems pretty hard. Oh, just drop the sword. Light's bane. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty hard to kill a boss, but it's not. Me and Jamie just spammed it using a flintlock pistol and some meteor shot. Meteor shot are pretty powerful bullets. 9 damage, 7 damage, okay, it doesn't seem like that much, but I was hitting 10s and 13s on the thing, and it's only got about, well the Eye of Cthulhu has 3000 health, and then once it gets down to half health, it, uh, it can take even more damage, so I was hitting 13s then, but yeah, to get the dryad you've got to kill a boss, build a house, oh, Jamie just threw something at me, not sure what he's doing there, anyway, dryad. 